let's tell it this problem a pet food producer manufactures and then fails 25 pound bags of dog food on two different production lines located in separate cities in an effort to determine whether differences exist between the average fill rates for the two lines a random number of 19 bags from line 1 and a random symbol of 23 bags from line 2 were recently selected. Each bag's weight was measured and analyzed. The sets upwards are given in Appendix A. 1. What is the P value? 2. What are the decision and conclusion of the test? Okay, let's check again. The key point is whether differences exist between the average mean differences and equal mean mu average fail rates fail rates Fill x for the two lines. So one and two, two samples. So we have to compare mu one and mu two are different also. If you see an equal, this is H A. So H O is mu1 equal to mu2 the test name is independent samples t test what are the particulars each bag's weight was measured so variable name is label is or fill rate or weight yeah. this is a test variable dependent variable Dependent variable weight is measured at ratio level. And two lines, therefore, production line. This is another variable, independent variable. Weight depends upon production line or not. So particulars are line one, 19 bags from line one, sample size of sample one, and 23 bags from line two. So N2, size of sample two is 23. So weight production line 19 and 23 in the banner numbers T test. So where are the sets upwards? On the next page, if you check the list, there are only two in the banner numbers T test. So the first one has weight. Fairway production line 1, 2, sample sizes 19, 23, all correct. Another one, variable sales and branch AB, not this one. So we have to select this one. Fairway weight, production line correct, sample sizes correct. So you have to check this first. Variance test first, sigma 1 square and sigma 2 square equal or not H O. So, degrees of freedom for numerator 18, yeah. 19 minus 1, 18. Degrees of freedom for denominator 22 and 2, 23 minus 1, 22, correct. F statistic 1.14 P value 
0.7644 not smaller than alpha by 0 0.05 so we don't reject HO HO is not rejected therefore we decide that variances are equal if variances are equal we have to choose this row so now this time we are checking HO mu1 is equal to mu2 HO correct or HA correct so t statistic minus 1.46 p value 0.1589 so p is not smaller than alpha 0 0.05 so the same ho is not rejected so p value 0.1589 go back to Question zero point one five eight nine. So you write the null hypothesis is not rejected, and the conclusion is that no difference exists between the average fail rates for the two lines. So this is the end. I will repeat the null hypothesis is not rejected so the conclusion is that no difference exists between the average fill rates for the two lines that's it